The Center for Adolescent Renewal and Education, Care Limited's hospitality and catering block is officially open. This facility was constructed with support from the ILO Caribbean office under the India-UN Development Partnership Project, upgrading St. Lucia's capacity to provide impactful vocational training for marginalized youth. During his presentation, Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre said that he receives positive feedback from employers when it comes to graduates of care. Care has been laboring for these people for ages. And it's really a labor of love. Because before, when you spoke about care, people always believed that, listen to me, what are you speaking about? We always judge people. You always stigmatize people. You always think people, because they're not from, or because they've, they've been caught for some infraction, we believe that we must write them off. Or because they do not live in a part of St. Lucia, we must stigmatize them. But the presentation brothers and the board of care were persistent. They were committed to these young people, to these people who, who most of the society had written them off. Sean Edward, Minister for Education, reiterated that the government puts a premium on education. Today, this dream of having the facility has become a reality thanks to the funding from the India-UN Development Partnership Fund through the United Nations Office for South-South South Cooperation, our government, the government of St. Lucia, the support of the International Labour Organization and donors such as the EU through the JEPS project. I am pleased to see in our midst today many of the persons and agencies who made this possible, including the Presentation Brothers. Tracy Dalsey, Planning Officer in the Ministry of Education, presented remarks on behalf of Executive Director Dr. Carlene Mason. She says over four decades ago, the Presentation Brothers bought the property at Cul-de-Sac by selling the land surrounding their VG residence. She says the buildings are just the first of several that will eventually constitute the care complex. It was in 2019 that the final version of the project's proposal was approved. But smooth sailing was not to be experienced because we were very much aware of the COVID pandemic, which read its ugly head at the time and subsequently negative global effects, which greatly impacted the implementation of the upgrading St. Lucia's capacity to provide impactful vocational training for marginalized youth project the eventual name of the project that resulted in the construction of these buildings. CARE was founded in 1993 by Irish presentation brother Dominic Burnock. It started off as a program that taught practical skills for three months in cast trees for those between 15 and 19 years old. For the DBS News World, Miriam Montout reporting.